Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up the brand new 2019 Topps Holiday Box. You can find these at Walmart or Meyer if you have a Meyer near you. Uh, we just got these today. I think they released today or maybe Wednesday. I'm not sure, but uh, we just saw them today in our Meyer. Um, you are going to get uh, one relic or one autograph in this box, and you get 10 packs. Well, these are set up for... Uh, you know, the holidays, obviously. Uh, and this year they've added a lot of variations to them. So I think there's 100 cards that have variations. Uh, there's a base card, of course, and then the short print, which is uh, the least rare. Then they have a rare variation and then a super rare variation. And the codes for those, the base card's going to have a code on the bottom right-hand corner. We'll show that in a second. Of 57, the last uh, two digits. The short print is going to be 63, the last two dig digits, and the rare is going to be 64, super rare 65. So we'll show you that when we pull a short print, if we pull any, we should. Yeah, um, um, so these have a decent amount of cards. You get 100 cards in a box, which is quite a few, actually. So. Ten, 10 packs, right? Yep, 10 packs, 10 cards a pack. So that's a decent chunk of cards. It's a 200-card <laughs> set, so by two, three, four of these, you can probably get to a set about. Yeah, depending on the collation of yeah. these, yeah. So as you can tell, la normally they're like a white border and they just have like maybe some snowflakes and stuff in the background, but these have the kind of like Christmassy stuff here and they have like the whole like... The, the green holly. Green holly, whatever stuff. Look. Yeah. On the border on all the cards, which is pretty cool. Definitely a step up from last year. Here's what the back looks like. Same kind of thing going around. Looks pretty sweet. There's the codes that you're looking at at the bottom, 57, last two digits there. Um, Jose Peraza, Merrill Kelly, Shoei Otani. It's a nice Mookie Betts. Um, metallic. These are one every two packs. Got like kind of like just like glitter over the stuff. You can kind of see it's kind of sparkly. Feels like glitter. Um, so Mookie Betts. They've had those almost every year in this stuff. Yeah, they have. I think they have had them every year. Yeah, we bought a box every year. We This time we picked up a couple. They had a sale at Meyer. Buy one, get one 50% off of trading card. So it's a pretty good sale, by the way. So we got Reese Hoskins, Oscar Mercado, Cody Bellinger, Shane Bieber. And then we've got a Ryan Presley, Corey Seager. Brendan Rodgers, Max Muncy, and Nolan Arenado. Yeah, so the the variations will be, some of them are very obvious. Like there's a snowman in the picture, a Christmas tree in the picture, a scarf that somebody's wearing, uh, a stocking uh, that's uh, in the picture, or something like that. So some of the variations are obvious. Some of them are less obvious and are very hard to look for or to see. There's a J.D. Hammer rookie. I don't remember yeah, him Yeah, I don't being... know if he's in another set. This might be his first rookie I card. think they have some rookies that and other people that have not appeared in other sets. It's so. pretty interesting because I don't know yeah. if I've ever done that before, but I do not remember J.D. Hammer in anything. No, I don't remember me. If he is, comment below, let us know. That we, was a metallic, could, by the way. We could definitely be wrong on that one. I just don't remember him or his face or anything. Springer. Did you check the codes? You want me to check? No, there's no, there's nothing if you get metallic. Yeah, if you get a metallic snowflake, you're I checked not the one pack. One. I think this one has a relic in it. Yeah, you're going to get about nine times out of ten a relic. Maybe even more than that. Yeah, maybe even more than that. You may do a case and not get an auto. That's probably not uh, too unlikely. Vasquez, Kevin Crone, and the relic is going to be flipped around here. Now, maybe it's an autograph relic. It's a Red Sox. That's kind of cool. Oh, Is that sweet. Pedroia? Nice. Yeah, awesome. That's cool. Pedroia no, no. second base. Different looking relics. They got like the little Christmas present thing, which is kind of cool. A little name tag. Christmas present name tag relic yeah, card. I don't know. It's interesting. It definitely, normally they're just like planes. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. I like them. I think they definitely did a way better job with this set this year than they did the past couple. Yeah, there's some improvement in the um, set. Here's the rest here's of the pack. Here's the Tatis. Nice Tatis rookie. So that's pretty sweet. These cards actually look different too, which is cool. I like that part about it a lot. So yeah, they they do. And now that Tatis, that's the they're the same pictures from. Yeah, this is the same picture. Some yeah. of them are different pictures. Yep, but they're mostly the same. Tim Anderson, Craig Kimbrell, Walker Bueller. Got a Tim Beckham. 
Some of the cards look a little faded, though. It's kind of weird. Yeah, they do. I don't know. It's not the camera either. It's the actual card. That one card. is. That picture's kind of weird. That's metallic. Albert Pujols, Ryu, Trent Thornton, and Yelich. So let's see what we get out of the second half. Now, these are going to run you uh, $20 or $21. I think they're selling them on the Walmart website for $22.95 or something like that. So I'm not sure what they're actually going to be in store where you are. Now, like this Weaver card right here is kind of faded. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't know if it's just the way they came out in printing or, or what, but... Maybe it's a look though, with like the green yeah, they try may, to. Maybe it right. Be. It may just be on purpose. But it looks like the oh, here's something. So when it was backwards, I'm guessing this is gonna be a variation. Yep. Christmas so there's present. the Christmas presents there. Pujols just hit a home run and he got Christmas presents. Look at that. Let's see what number that one is. Yeah, so right there in the bottom corner there is the number and 64 64 that's going to be the rare so it's going to be the middle of the short print so it's going to be the harder one to pull but not the hardest which would be the super rare this is the short print one every seven rare holiday variation short print one every 20 super rare holiday variation short print one every 161 and the we'll put i'm curious about what the autographs are World Series champions right there, Rendon and Soto. Nice. So those guys played, both of those guys played amazing in the World Series. Uh, of course, Soto being 20, actually 21, I think, at the end of the series, um, played amazing, and Rendon played awesome. Here's Austin Riley, rookie. So what were, and then right behind it's uh, Acuna. What were the... Oh, no, I was going to say the, there's a relic, one every 11, a uh, special like holiday relic, which is like the Christmas hat ones, one every 638. Then a... Here's a snowflake, metallic snowflake. A autograph relic is one in every 3,619. Then a regular autograph is one every 334. And a holiday fox relic is one every four thousand eight hundred and seventy or four thousand seven hundred and eighty two. A holiday what? Fox relic. Fox. Interesting. F -A -U -X. Maybe they give you a fox. A foe? Is that what that spells? I think that is. F A U X. Yeah, I think What's it a is. What's a foe? Here's a Hoskins. What does he have? Let's back that up there. I don't know. It's backwards. See, look at the at the code. Is there a... 64. That's a rare, but what is on the card that makes it rare? Christmas lights. Oh, yeah, right there. Look at those Christmas lights in the dugout. Well, that's pretty cool. These this is definitely way cooler than last Oops, year. Oops, I put them in sure. the wrong like, These are actually really, really fun to open. Yeah, these are actually a little bit more fun. There's a little more chase to it. Last The last few years, it was base, 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 metallic snowflake, and then a relic. That was it. So do you know what a foe is? Um, yeah, it is um, not your friend. No, just kidding. It Well, yeah, that is one definition, but not the way it's spelled. It is some sort of French word, I believe, and... It means, um, like, fake, I want to say. We're going to find out. Or not authentic or... Yeah, um, made in imitation. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty close. I was like, what the heck's a fox rock? I've never seen that word before. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Like, that's kind of weird. It's faux. Well, I know. I know how to say it now, but when I first looked at it, I was like, I don't know. Right. Don't know that's all right. You're learning. You're learning. You're a young man. You're learning. And, and, you know, whoever knew that Topps baseball cards would teach you vocabulary, new vocabulary words. I still am curious as to what that actually is. Yeah, I know. Me too. I wonder what that is. Because it, obviously there's nothing on the box that will tell you that. Did we get another short print here? That would be the Glaber Torres snow goggles. No, it's not. Nope. Um, uh, right there. Right there, he's running like wrapping paper. Yeah, on his wrapping wrist. paper on his wrist. What is that number? Sixty-three. Sixty-three. So that's the short print. That's the easiest to pull. That's a good one. Good little box. Yeah, there. that was a good box. That was fun. 
I don't know. I would, if for 20 bucks, this is quite the little rip here. Yeah, honestly. I would say it's uh, a fun one. It's a solid. Um, now, for serious collectors, you know, this is not going to be one that's going to be <laughs> no, most likely. No, it's like, like a yeah. ton of resale or anything. But, but it would be sweet. a really fun one if you have kids, uh, you know, nieces, nephews, uh, young kids in the house uh, for a Christmas party, you know, pull some of these out yeah, open you get up like a, i mean i know when i was like four years old yeah. being a relic was yeah. like the coolest thing ever so. and i think those the chase of the variations makes it more interesting for sure yeah and they're definitely more entertaining than just like regular old baseball cards so i don't know if they're gonna sell for that much but that's beside the point it's more about you know opening them and collecting i don't know them, i'd so. give tops a big thumbs up for this one just for how improved it is from the last couple years yeah, it definitely is an improvement. Uh, before it was, like I said, just base cards and the metallic snowflake and then the relic. So it was pretty boring to open. This actually yeah, makes this you have a desire to open up a little bit more to see if you can pull any of the uh, rare variations. And I'm sure some of the big names like Trout and stuff, his variations will sell for you know a fair amount you can so, get autos of that. i mean you can get yeah. flat autos who knows yeah so. who knows so we'll uh maybe break some more of these especially if they're on sale uh definitely makes it uh much more manageable on the budget all right well thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have please hit the thumbs up comment below let us know what you think about the 2019 tops holiday box once again you can get them for we paid 21.99 uh, and I believe you may be paying around $20 at Walmart. But let us know what you paid for them, and uh, let us know how you like the set. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have fun collecting.